The male gaze screws us up thinking we know what women want through our own eyes. And it's not till you start seeing things through her perspective that you're gonna start to realize that the stuff that you're focusing on, it's probably not gonna get you more girls. Matter of fact, it's probably gonna get you less girls. Let me explain. Number one, too many guys are getting focused on getting jacked. Look, being healthy, working out for yourself so you feel good, so you increase your confidence, that is all good. But when it gets to the point that you just wanna get shredded, where it's basically just muscle and skin, if you're doing this just for girls, you're wasting your time. If you're doing it to compete or to challenge yourself, go for it, do it. If your goal is girls, this is just fruitless. See, most girls actually wanna do that's athletic, but still have a little bit of fat, a little bit of a, of a tummy. Think of a dad bod. That's why that became so popular recently. Let me give you a good example. Look at Seabum, Chris Bumstead. The dude is the standard for aesthetics. Like, if you want the ideal body shape, it is this dude. Also, go to his Instagram. Go to the people that restitch his TikToks. It's all dudes. His comments, all dudes that are literally thirst trapping over an other dude. So if you want to thirst trap other dudes, yeah, get shredded. See, Chris does this because he likes it. It's a sport for him. It's challenging. Don't be the dude that does it for the wrong reasons because girls don't even want this stuff. Number two, thinking you need expensive clothing. Too many guys think that they need to be wearing designer or the most expensive and greatest stuff to impress girls, which what you don't realize is two things happen. One, most girls will probably not know how expensive those Travis Scotts are or that specific one of one sneaker that you're wearing. And two, the ones that do, a lot of times, especially when they're looking for that long-term relationship, judge you in a negative light because they think that you make immature financial decisions. See, you need to be the type of guy that can dress well with stuff that's not in your face, nor that's gonna cost you an arm and a leg, but instead stuff that's affordable, that's quality, and that it's flattering. That's how you win. See, to look good and impress girls, you just need the basics. See, this is basically why we started Essentials. When I designed Essentials, I, I understand this. See, the stuff that I preach to you, I create products for because I see, yo, nobody's covering this in the market. Just basics that actually look good. Nothing with massive branding or to look cool or to look expensive, but instead basics that are gonna last you four, five, six years and that are always in style, that are flattering, and they're made of good quality. Our heavyweight collection pretty much changed the game as is. Like the amount of sales we're getting from this collection has been the most that we've ever done. And this was the game plan all along to continually be able to offer you guys great products. And every time we perfect the product, we add it to our catalog. Our first was our bamboo t-shirt, which is the best selling t-shirt in the world. I don't, we've sold over like 300,000 of just bamboo tees just how amazing they are. I mean, we're talking millions of men hit our site every single launch. It's for a reason. With Essentials, we crush it. And if you've never picked up an Essentials, I'm telling you, you are missing out on what quality really feels like. Especially these, bro, just look how nice these heavyweight hoodies are. The other day, I got a comment on my Instagram saying like, yo, stop wearing hoodies and crewnecks. That's all you've been wearing. Duh, yes, like I design stuff that I genuinely love to wear. And when you buy one of this, I promise you, like it is the only thing you're going to want to wear. That is why I design clothing. So it's comfortable and it makes you feel good. Therefore, you never want to take it off. I want you to experience the same thing. Buying a piece that you just love to wear repeatedly and to do so, you guys need to check out Essentials. Now look, yes. It might be a little bit too pricey for some people. I get it, but you gotta keep in mind, we're trying to make the best of the best and it's still more affordable than anything you'll find in the market. But if you're still on the edge, let's say you can't purchase right now, put a reminder on your phone. See, 1127, I'm being early. We're like, we're about a month out. But I wanna, I wanna get you on. See, for my subscribers, I want you to know, 1127, it is our Black Friday sale. And when I tell you, this will be the largest sale of the year. We're talking up to 70% off. Like, it, this is the sale where we remove all margins. Like, on some products, we actually lose money. We're basically selling it to you at cost, if not less than cost. You're getting products as affordable as possible. And when this happens, this is when this stuff just flies off the shelf and I don't want you to miss it. So 11.27, 10 a.m. Eastern, we're a month out, but if I were you, put that reminder on your phone, start saving money because you need a splurge for Christmas. Number three, thinking that you have to be an asshole. So many men fall into the mistake that they think that the women only fall for men that are actually mean to them. See, that's not necessarily the case. When women say they hate nice guys, they hate the nice guy that does nice things with the pretense to receive something in exchange. Usually, 
a sexual favor. Dude, it is the people pleasing behavior that turns women off. And honestly, it turns anybody off. Think about it. Those are the same dudes that are ass kissers to the popular guys just to be part of that friend group or ass kissers to the bosses to hopefully make it up in life. Thinking that just being nice, they can receive something in exchange when in reality, nobody likes to be around them, including girls. So that's when the asshole comes around that lacks that people pleasing behavior because he just doesn't care. And yes, he also comes with bad tendencies, but women prefer choosing that over the ass kisser. Number four, thinking that women just want your money. And here, see, it's, it, it's a yes and no answer. You have to understand, women are hypergamous by nature because they have the most to lose when they mate. See, when they mate and they procreate, instantly their market value goes down, both economically in the work field and also both in the dating field. Instantly, as soon as you get pregnant socially, their value goes down. And this is why they're always looking for the best mate that's gonna increase their chances of survival for both her and her child. This is where resources come into play. So yes, Money is important, or at least being ambitious enough to continually wanting to better yourself because this is what's gonna continually make you that better option amongst your peers and her eyes on top of when you are at that level, it also gives you choices. You get to choose your mate now because all your mates are looking for that better choice. When you're there, this is when you want to find that loyal and supportive and motivational partner that's gonna help you continue to reach all of your goals. Number five that you have to be super intelligent. But it gets to a point that it becomes a problem. See, yes, you need to be a guy that can hold an intelligent conversation, that can think creatively, that can problem solve. However, this doesn't mean that you should talk down to women when you feel insecure. This is a trait that so many men do. See, when you start feeling threatened by her and to avoid feeling inferior to her, you start talking down to her, thinking that you just look smarter, more intellectual, and in her eyes, therefore more attractive, when in reality, you just look arrogant. Number six, thinking that you need a nice car. Look, I proved this with an experiment. I did a whole video on it where I brought two groups of guys, one with nice cars and one with regular cars, and they both ended up being rated the same. See, here's the thing. Most girls don't know the value of most cars unless it's like a, a Range Rover, a G wagon or something popular like that. For the most part, an average car is good enough as long as it's clean. And this is coming from a guy like, look, I've owned almost any expensive car you can think of. Almost all the supercars, I've owned almost all of them. And I'm telling you right now, the only people you impress is other dudes. You'll have other dudes simping over you and asking you to rev it. That's it. And finally, number seven, thinking that you need a big pipe. Look, most women actually prefer an average pee-pee size. Look, it only takes about three to four inches to hit a woman's cervix. I, we're getting into an anatomy class at this point, which means anything above that, it just becomes painful. A lot of positions become harder to do and it becomes unpleasant for them. So yes, about average is good enough. So for my brothers out there that might be a little bit smaller, don't worry, you, that, that's more than enough. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out Essentials. If you guys wanna check it out, it'll be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.